I do. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, I can't kiss her. <laughs> Then Jehovah God said, it is not good for the man to continue to be alone. But notice what it says here. I am going to make a helper for him as a compliment of him. He knew that Adam would need a helper. And that helper was supposed to be a compliment of him. I didn't prepare any words, but I did want to say that here we are. Yes. Um, <laughs> as we get married, um, or as we're about to get married, I know that we have had our fair share of trials, um, and we'll have many more. However, I'm so confident that because we have Jehovah, we'll be perfect. And here we are at the Kingdom Hall. Yeah. What better place to start mm. our beginning? Yes. So I'm so happy to begin with you. Me too, and I babe. love you. Love you too. It has been a long journey, but it's been a wonderful two years. And I, like I said, I have learned so much throughout this process as far as how to be ahead, how to care for you, as far as um, emotionally, spiritually. Physically, emotionally, I still have some improvement mm -hmm. in that area, but I know I'll get there with Jehovah's help and with you by my side as well. So. Marital wedlock is a divine institution authorized and established by Jehovah by the first man and the first woman, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden. Marriage is one of Jehovah's provision for the lasting benefit and happiness of his earthly children, us. You see, when Jehovah created Adam, he never intended for Adam to be alone on this earth by himself forever. Well, friends, it's my happy pleasure to introduce to you, to this marriage gathering, brother and sister Marcus and Naomi Zachary. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.